All right, man. Welcome to Crow Triple Seven Radio. This is an introduction for episode 280. Jason Lingren's with me, and shortly, Mr. David Weiss will join us. The kind of removal of information from the internet and the censorship's really gotten to a fever pitch, which is why the bonus this year covers the 12 hoaxes of Christmas. We run these on private servers. A lot of people back up the hour ones, uh, which I encourage people to do. The hour ones, we hold on to the hour twos. Uh, for multiple reasons. But, you know, you get another five, ten years down the road, even now, if you search for some of the seminal moments since 2001, like uh, Sandy Hook, you, you find very little. But on an upbeat note, we're releasing this on the what I consider to be the end of the era we've just gone through, where people believe in things, which means we're kicking off a cycle where people should start to know things. And maybe that will be an immense help hard to know how far we go, but Jason, anything you want to add in here? In light of all the stuff that's going on right now, it seems good to take a look back at what really set us up for the bad guys to be able to pull off what they're pulling off right now. Right. I quit really paying any attention at all to the false shootings and things like that uh, in the fall of 2017. Matter of fact, the last one that I purposefully took apart was Vegas, the Mandalay Bay nonsense. And that resulted in us getting my YouTube channel killed. And uh, Google put out an algorithm, which is still in full force, ensuring uh, that people that find us, it's almost wholly through word of mouth. If you've never done a search for Crow 777, we have reason to believe that it'll never come up in a search return unless you use something other than the mainstream engines. So the main purpose here, and if you, you know, I felt like I put on my muck wading boots to do it. I really did. I hadn't, you know, I've been away from it for so long. But it's important to get these things on the record. Uh, what's going to happen in five, ten years, people will have forgotten if the Internet is the only source they have. But there are a lot of people on BitChute and other places. Uh, a gentleman has just contacted me and backed up every hour one and is blasting it off private servers out to places. So this is basically our effort to put a lid on the memory hole. Anything else, Jason? Well, since we're doing this on the solstice, I think everyone can understand the significance there, right? Holidays are holidays, and hopefully everyone keeps being as positive as they possibly can, considering everything that we've all been through this year. Well, as we head into the low point of the sun and the Great Conjunction, there's certainly a big change. I don't think anyone would even venture to argue that we're not in a different era now than we were even just a year ago. But at the end of the day... Everyone should have a positive mindset and don't let the media get you down and don't let episodes like this one get you down. It's just about memory. And, you know, David Weiss even talks about it's kind of a comedy show once you understand what's going on. And it would be laughable if so many people weren't fooled. But here is the era shift and we have a big opportunity to get a lot more people on board. And by the way, as this nonsense goes into full force during the year of the Black Jack 2021, I think a lot more people are going to really start to question what's going on here. So anyhow, let's cut to it. Uh, I'd like to wish you all a happy, healthy, and higher-minded solstice. And join us for episode 280, Jason, myself, and David Weiss. And we'll cover maybe the Big 12. I don't even know what the Big 12, a choice of the Big 12. There's so many to choose from at this point. And we'll put them back on the record. So someday, 10 years from now, there will be somewhere where this is available. There it is, man. Cheers. Cheers.